said it. And there's a huge temple down there with uh, God Frey, God Frey, Frey Tak, Frey Tak, Frey where it comes from, yeah, Frey yeah, yeah, yeah. So in the, the beginning this was used for this and there is still hanging, you see, two old red heads here yeah. from the time. So we were shot, shooting close-ups and things on that when I was making all my movies at that time. And uh, I never thought I would move here. I don't ever thought I would live here. So this big door is because we were driving cars here into this and the floor was much lower. But before I buy the house, there were four families living in this house. One of the families was the family of Björk, the rock singer. And uh, she told me she got pregnant in this house. <laughs> so this house has a history. <laughs> but actually this house was built on a uh, top of a barrack from the British Army. He was the biggest oh. camper during the Second World War. And they had huge guns here uh, to protect the harbor of Reykjavik. And uh, <coughs> at the same time, there were about 20,000 soldiers here. I think the inhabitants of Reykjavik at that time were 6,000. So you can imagine what was happening at that time in Iceland. So Iceland was thrown into modern world in a few weeks, and they <laughs> built an airport here, but still in Reykjavik. Icelanders have never seen an air airplane until then. So this is a part of this memory, but Icelanders, they feel very ashamed of that Reykjavik really developed on all these barracks. When the army left, all the people from the countryside, they moved into this barracks, so most of the older family in Reykjavik is brought up in barracks, and they don't want to remember it, so they have taken all the barracks away, a little bit sin. The only thing we have now is a chimney down there in the, in the temple from this, and this house is built on the top of, of of a barrack, but uh, actually, I started to like this place so much that slowly I, I moved into it. I moved into this place, I, I we just bought to build something, and there was uh, almost nothing here around, no big stones, nothing. Everything we moved here during the time I was making all these crazy Viking movies. <laughs> <laughs> and, well, this house is always little bit growing, I have been digging down, so there is a little swimming pool down there with the geothermical water of the house, it passes through the little swimming pool down there, you can walk down there. And uh, this floor is hot, I made it hot, there's a hot water running on the floor, so it will never be cold. And the last thing we have been doing is buying old tables and putting them in the ceiling. <laughs> tables and, and <laughs> mirrors. <laughs> so, uh, this house has been uh, very much debated by the Council of Reykjavik. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it <laughs> because it's completely unlegal. There are no real drawings of it. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the house was growing a little bit. I had a lot of sculptures here by artists from Cuba and Russia and everywhere. They were around here. But uh, before Jon Gnar be became the mayor of Reykjavik, before last election, uh, there was a crazy lady who was the mayor of Reykjavik called Hanna Birna, and she wanted to prove that nobody can live outside of the laws. And she made two bulldozers and uh, machines come here and they ruined everything around here. Mm. So this is only a little part of the, this part is still standing, you know. But they didn't, they were not brave enough to ruin exactly what was inside of so-called property line, which is very hard to, to define because literally just didn't belong to anybody. It, uh, if it belonged to anybody, who was it? Nobody knew. Maybe Reykjavik city itself. But anyway, I have been living here now for several years, about 15 or 20 years. I have owned this house for about 30 years, and uh, it's getting more and more popular. People like it. It's all recycled. It's all, almost all material mm. in it is taken. It's an old material. <coughs> it's a whale harbor uh, out there. The floor there is actually <coughs> a from a whale harbor. 
This is from uh, the old <coughs> train we had in Iceland up there. And uh, that's all I have to say. <laughs> <laughs>